Grenade in the face. Good way of doing it. I get ready in the morning. Always take a fresh grenade to the face. It wakes me right up. These birds are uh, real birds or just no pretend birds. Of course. In the shaft. So you turned on the lights to turn it off again? Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's gonna... That was a person. 
Servers took out the shuttle. Everyone back to the elevator. Move! Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. I can explain this, Caden. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin is behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I better not regret this. You won't. <laughs> Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this. He's got a gun. Better Caden than me. He needs the glory. Second human inspector. Kate. And he saved the council. The first one. Yeah, I'm good. Let them die. The door! Bailey. Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Then it's true. We were in danger. But I don't understand. You said Cerberus was right here. Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Then I owe you, Shepard, for our lives and for brokering a deal with the Primarch of the Krogan that I never could. <laughs> just doing my job. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Shepard, do you have any idea why Cerberus would do this? Honestly, no. But I plan to find out. Let's take out the Illusion fan. Right, people, principles are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. A million other places. Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Mm -hmm. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus. If you want to see him, uh, I'd go now. Thank you. I'll get on it. 
Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? <laughs> Perhaps. I, I do know that Udina is like a council member and stuff like that, and apparently a Cerberus Lieber agent, but I don't know how the security can be that bad on the Citadel that it's actually possible for Cerberus to do a stunt like that. Buy some of all of these mods. Maybe some of the um, don't believe the weapon does any quarter of a million. What the heck? Oh, 80,000. Uh, do I really want to use 80,000? Shield, health, ammo capacity. That's a, uh, that's a whole suit, right? Actually, it's kind of remind me of the thing I put together myself. Headshot damage, weapon damage. Ultralight white materials. Okay, might as use might as well use some of our money, right? Otherwise, we're just gonna not use them. No, oh, wait a minute. I don't. I don't. Never mind. Okay, I guess now that we're the citadel, we should probably visit all the vendors because we're looking for some pipes. Changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it, but ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. Okay, so that's like a side mission. Get him some field encoders or whatever. Kind of want to check Udina's computer. Third pack. I never liked him. Spouse. Well, I guess that's. That is the English word for it. Go to the hospital Boy, first. Moment, See how Fran, Fran, no, Tran. Oh, that's getting more and more casualties. Oh, of course. If we could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just involved. The Asari Revere alone. She wore these rings yeah, some, medicine from a saint. That was definitely a mission. It popped up. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them. Big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. 
just tell me what happened at Tip Tree. Can I have a gun? I don't think it's a good idea to give. Um, Welcome to Serta. Ooh. Serta is a non profit organization dedicated to the medical oh, okay. of all Thank you for Just keep going up. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the city. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. <laughs> Even a general is just one man. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Kepril syndrome. At its worst, Kepril syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly... There was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. <laughs> I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. <laughs> I'll pass the word along. <laughs> There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Alahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires. The lover never leaves. The hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira. 
and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. last verse say she. The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. <laughs> Major Caden Alenko. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations to get more supplies. For those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. <laughs> the arrow you just charged him more. Okay. Ooh, uh, that was uh, <clears throat> a little rough. Coming here. Let's get one more. Okay, under a thousand, a hundred thousand. But stop. Thanks. Got medical capacity V. Uh, let's go to the Persidum Commons. I feel like I remember some kind of a mission where I had to do something. Before he want to help me, but I can't really remember what it was. Carnala export. Okay, so I need to buy the fish again. Cultivating I'm probably gonna forget to. Even during times of crisis. Don't I have the blood dragon? At Carnala exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Okay, maybe I already, maybe I used too much money already. For security and peace of mind. But ten thousand we can use on. I don't think I want to get the Blood Dragon M. Because, eh, not right now. It's too expensive, I think. Don't be left out in the cold. Hmm. Ask about our full Looks pretty cool. Warranties. Elkos Combine. Mm. If it exists, we carry it. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Thank you. Come again. Didn't see any pipes. No, we can't wait until I'm back on duty. That is very Doctors are working to keep that terrorist and bastard alive. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. What are we talking about? Terrian. Update map. Map update. So we got a new place on the Citadel we can go to? Hmm. But this place is so big and there's so many small side missions we can use ours here. Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. 
No, the crime still doesn't happen. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. Well, well, you're welcome. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. Your stone wall Those vids could be vital for the war I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high profile customers. Word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC. You think I care? Right now, I don't really care that you're. Oh yeah, that's the the general. Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'll get you your weapons, General. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. Just sit on your hands a little longer. I know the Hades Nexus is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The Obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much. We got a live Prothean. Can't we just use him? Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Inferno Armor. For the best in the business, come to Casa. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. <laughs> wartime discount. Proceeds Ooh, it's from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. Neither should you. Gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Shoot Collect smart. the armor. Shoot. No Sastra yeah. hunting. No, actually, my husband was broken. <laughs> Said that. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Some said that my husband is a Krogan. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court? Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe if the council organizes a civilian. Welcome to Agor <laughs> Munitions. Otherwise, they'll just panic and get themselves killed. I just. I just want people. Agor to Munitions. For I deals you never see coming. Like Remember, normal. all what purchases made by Agor welcome to Cipertine Armory. Okay, that'd be something. Professional grade equipment at reasonable prices. That's Cipertine. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine Armory. Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Uh huh. That's right. That was the guy we needed to talk to to make him give weapons to the general. What's the general? Upstairs? Oh, there he is. Commander Shepard. I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Who will come? I think that's what I can do here. If I remember correctly. I just don't understand. Why you're suddenly so conflicted? Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. 
It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. What's that all about? We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know when I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. You're better than this. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust, Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. <laughs> we have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Hmm. Yeah, but I think it's important to keep some kind of normal as f for so long as possible. I keep up morale. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that C-Sec is still in control. They need that security. Exactly. The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Exactly. <laughs> Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? I'm uh, not sure. Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems. Power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Wonder if I have to run back to her to give it to her. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. Well, send me the money. <laughs> I'm in your debt. Uh, it's, it's showing me him again. Does I need to talk to him again? Or? No, no, it's just showing me it's him. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, I knew. Hmm. Well, I think we are done here at the Presidio. Um, at Paulo's Cafe. He's a terrorist. He ought to be locked up. He should be shot. Gorex wanted for six bucks. Gorex. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a cactus. They're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic world will have to fight on to evacuate all students. Okay, nothing. 
Yes, we are done at the Presidium. Let's go for the elevator. If I was his doctor, Quickly check. I didn't miss something up here. Probably did. Your account helps fund Citadel Defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. Have you seen Palavin or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Okay, damn it. Leave the money. Recognized. Please select a destination. One moment. Let's go to the bar for a second. Grab a drink, maybe. <laughs> now arriving at ward level purgatory. Brindley, you do not understand. The code of the ancients is the collected wisdom of our people. With overwhelming sadness, it was lost when the Kuna fell. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. With certainty, we need the wisdom of our ancestors in these trying times. These trying times. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. That was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. It's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. <laughs> uh, maybe. Um. In the game, I can. No, the problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library at Asha had sacred texts on the ways of the Huntress, the defining works on the art of battle. But the Nimbus Cluster has already fallen, and our people are here dancing instead of fighting. Well, dancing gives you, like, evasive skills. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war! <laughs> How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. <laughs> That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? <laughs> what, what about you and me? <laughs> no. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? Eh, it's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. <laughs> you deserve to be stupid. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. What, which dance floor were we looking at? Give me a drink. This bar's closed. For me, anyway. Oh, hey, Jack. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? 
Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They're dropping us into hot spots for hit and runs. I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. <laughs> Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. I didn't think my guys could cut it. I wanted to put them in the back ranks, but you believed, and you were right. They're kicking ass. Sweet. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights, but the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them, cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> Come on. What? I'll buy you a drink. The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Oh. See you on the dance floor. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. I don't care. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm a great dancer. Sweet. I miss afterlife. Yeah, this place is so clean it squeaks. Anyhow, thanks for the drink. But why you haven't broken anything yet? You That's know, a start. About that merchant freighter. Yeah. And it is just. Might as well. What you got? Why she's not dancing? Oh, the bartender's going crazy. Oh yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Drink. Need a drink. And she just took a glass that was on the bar. What, is it? what if there are trucks in there or something? Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. That's still a start. What are you doing here? It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse mechs and Vorcha legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Hmm. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. <laughs> I should. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Mm, okay. <laughs> so next, uh. The refuge. Spending Can't remember the thing. Recognized. Please select a destination. Um, dark holding area, maybe. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay. I definitely got a lot, a lot of missions. Can't you let me in? No. <laughs> I only need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vast, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. 
I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Mm. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. Mm -hmm. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium. I don't think that will quite fit the documentary's tone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's... that's... Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. Exactly. Playing on people's emotions. Those are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location nice. of some ruins. Prothean ruins on Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Nice. Please, my family is starving. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. I believe those are my credits. Mm -hmm. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. Oh, yeah, that's you. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? Oh, not Kelly. I guess if Cerberus asks if you're such and such, the correct answer is no. <laughs> or who? So Kelly's dead? Damn. Damn it, I'm telling you, someone sabotaged the medical dispensers. No, if I knew who, I'd have had them arrested. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Damn it, I'm telling you, someone sabotaged the medical dispensers. No, if I knew who, I'd have had them arrested. It doesn't kill the council. Mm. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Placement has been served. Oh, maybe I should just get them working again. Didn't even need to read here. Instructions. Yeah, Guess that. I fixed the problem for you. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. 
I wish we could have found the bastard responsible for the sabotage. But this is going to save a lot of lives. Thank you. Probably Cerberus? I don't know. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. <laughs> Stand strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. Don't see any pipes. Thank you for your patronage. The pressure's okay. No infection. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. <laughs> Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony. Only regret. Don't have the strength to... I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Ha! Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Probably not the right choice, but... Yes, for. That's everything for now here anyway. Oh, there it is. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. <laughs> What's the last thing? Please select the destination. of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu what yeah 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 i'm not sure what i want to I just want to go now back arriving at docking bay d24 i've got your briefing private let's fill you in before the squad arrives the alliance is posting us to an ezo mining facility on zani it's a low gravity planet toxic atmosphere you'll be expected to maintain full survival gear any questions are we playing security, Sergeant Olenby? No, Private. We are not. Krogan leader Erdnot Rex stated that his support of the Turians proves that the Krogan are ready to return to the Citadel. Emergency shelters and stations are located at Dyson. I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. I know the Valhallen Threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean Tech could help the Crucible. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecured channel. Yes, understood. Are you calling for an unsecure uh, channel? You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for Drydock, I bet. She's seen battle. 
Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. <laughs> Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And I'm... Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look. No guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had EZO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here have put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. <laughs> Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. Sure, no problem. His background story is... Whew, it's really sad. Let's go into space! Caden, hey. I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I went all went down, it's got me... I don't know. Okay, talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. <laughs> Never. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is we stop the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity. And it matters. You're talking about Udina. You think he would have come in quietly? Caden, he gave you no choice. You had to take the shot. You acted with integrity. I saw the whole thing. All right. Thanks. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hack it off of <coughs> your position. But I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Absolutely. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know.